Catholic and spirituality is to contemplate until you explode. Now, I don't mean this in a negative sense, but in a very positive spiritual sense. Every religious order benefits from contemplation. Especially the Carmelites, but the Dominican contemplation is unique in that it demands an outward manifestation of the overflowing joy within us. So, you know, when I study theology or, or live it in the streets, hospitals or, you know, even online, I can't help but realize that my every act seems to be, as our Holy Father Nerd Dominic was once described as, speaking for God or with Him all the time. Since joining the chapter, I've been blessed enough to bring Dominic into my household. Uh, every night my family says goodnight to him. <laughs> night night, Jesus. Night, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Jesus. Good night, Mary. Night, Mary. I love you, Mary. Night, Mary. Night, Joseph. Night, Joseph. I love you, Joseph. Yes, night, night, Dominic. Good night. I love you, Dominic. I love you. Finally, and this is probably the most valuable of all the blessings that I've received, I've become a lot more humble. You know, before I joined, I was always atop of my theological game, butting into every religious conversation and maintaining a very stiff and oftentimes non-charitable ideological protocol. Um, but since joining, my studies in prayer have led me to a, a much calmer evangelization that sees first the person in front of me uh, as opposed to their religious beliefs. Yes, uh, but with caution. Becoming a lay Dominican is, is not something that one should do on a whim. Uh, you know, when I made my promise, I did so knowing that I would be becoming a religious in every sense of the word. Granted, I'm still counted among the laity. I'm not ordained or anything, but I am a brother in the family of St. Dominic. And, you know, like all families, this means that I'm required to follow some rules. Uh, I'm required to walk and talk according to the Dominican rule, which can sometimes be difficult in a secular world or, you know, even amongst my own family and friends. So I guess if you're thinking about becoming a lay Dominican or joining any other third order as a religious layman or woman, I'd recommend it wholeheartedly, but only if you are willing to do it wholeheartedly.